For subcutaneous injections, uh, make sure uh, we are ready with uh, our kidney tray. So what we have to have is, uh, first of all, obviously the medication. Make sure we know the type of medication, dose of medication, route of medication, and definitely check the expiry date. Then we have got the drawing up needle. Make sure the drawing up needle is going to be different from the one you're going to inject the injection. Then obviously we have got the syringe and we have got the gauze piece uh, as well. Right, now let's take the medication using drawing up needle. We have to make sure uh, the drawing up needle is definitely going to be different from the one you're going to inject it. So we make sure we take it out and throw it in the sharp spin, yellow bin. Right, now let's go and prepare our patient first. Before we go for the injection, we make sure we confirm the identity of the patient and we ask them if there is any allergy. Uh, are you Mr. John Smith? Yes. Could you please confirm your age once for me? 27. Are you allergic to any medication? No. All right. What are the appropriate injection sites? Number one, you can actually inject uh, an abdomen, but make sure you avoid injecting within two inches radius around umbilicus. Second is upper outer aspect of the arm. Number three, outer aspect of the upper thigh and we can inject in upper buttocks as well. Let's see how we can do it in upper outer aspect of the arm. So make sure uh, before we start uh, the injection, uh, one thing that we have to do is make sure we don't have any bubbles. That's the main thing. So there should not be any bubbles before we uh, give the injection. Now what we have to uh, do uh, in this, when you're giving subcutaneous injection, we don't really need to clean the area with the alcohol swab. You can directly inject it. That's absolutely, absolutely fine. So what you do is with the thumb and index finger, you just... Uh, Take the skin where you really want to inject and then you go at 45 to 90 degree angle and make sure we are injecting it in subcutaneous tissue only. So we go in and we don't need to aspirate it as well because there are no big arteries or any veins in subcutaneous area and you inject the medicine. You take it out, make sure it's going in the sharp spin. And what else we can do is uh, we can give uh, ghost piece to our patient. Can you just hold it for me? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.